Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to the viewers, the subscribers, and just the world out there. Today we are going to take a look at Cancer's I Spy Tarot reading for the month of April. In this reading, we are going to take a look at um, what your person is thinking, right? So what is their perception of the situation? How are they feeling about you? Um, what their intentions are here? And what are they getting from all of this? And then um, a little bit of advice for moving forward, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something on the title that resonates. There's most likely something in the message. I also like to touch on if you guys are feeling the message, if it feels like the message is meant for you or it is your situation, that's when the message is meant for you. There's not going to be any second guessing or wondering. Um, so I do apologize if it's not resonating. You are more than welcome to check other pl placements or other readings, okay? For more information on how to book a personal reading, energy cleanse kits I offer, how to get entered into the drawing we do here every month for free personal readings, any other useful or helpful information is all linked in the description box. So, Cancer. Get started. We're going to tap into these energies with the Island Time Wellness deck. I'm going to say a little blessing here before we get started. Thank you, Spirit, for the opportunity to be here and to provide these readings to the subscribers. Please allow a clear and concise message to come through today. Please protect me, the viewer, and the cards from any negative energies. And again, Spirit, we thank you so much for the opportunity to be here, to be present, to be healthy, and to be able to present these readings. Blessed be. All right, Cancer. Most important message here, Spirit, for Cancer. What does Cancer need to see for the month of April surrounding their person? This person that we are tapping into can very well be a love interest. Um, it could also be a friend, family member. Um, so let's see. Let's see what comes up here. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Most important message here for Cancer Spirit, April, for the month of April. First two cards out is Karmic Relationship. Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Date. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning. I get the sense here that um, there has been some sort of separation within a relationship. But I feel like there, this relationship was probably very toxic. Um, probably very um, tumultuous, a lot of back and forth energy. I do feel like there may be, this person may be coming back around or you may get an opportunity to talk to this person again. Um, but I feel like if you do get that opportunity, there's a need here to gain closure, um, to protect yourself from this person but utilize this opportunity to gain clarity over the situation and to bring closure, okay? So let's see here, Cancer. Let's see what we can see for you. 
for the month of April. important message here for Cancer Spirit. What does Cancer need to see? We're first going to pull a couple cards here, Cancer, for the situation at hand. Let's see if we can dig a little bit deeper into these energies. And then we are going to take a look at the person's perception here. So let's see. Most important message here, spirit for cancer. What does cancer need to see for the month of April about this person, about this situation? about this closure that they're going to receive. Okay. I feel like this is a strong connection. Now, the two of cups, it's, simply symbolizes a union. This can be a twin flame, a soulmate, a karmic connection. It's like a spiritual union, two people coming together, okay? I do feel like the thing that's probably keeping this stagnant or back and forth is I feel like this connection is very a very passionate connection but I feel like it may be um, based on lust, okay? Based on um, sex or intimacy. And I feel like um, it's hard to get this connection off the ground because either you, this other person, or both people may have a fear of commitment here. Okay, so let's see. See what this person's perception is here, Cancer, of the situation at hand. One of you guys flipped over here. Let's see. Uh -huh. High Priestess. Let's get one more card. So I feel like this person is uh, trusting their intuition. I feel like they feel like you are have very high standards is what I'm getting here. Um, high expectations of the situation. I feel like they also get the sense that you are, you know, an empress. You deserve the best. Um, They may have a little bit of fear surrounding this. A little bit of fear, a little bit of, um, I get the sense that they may, like, if I can't have you, nobody can. So maybe a little bit of jealousy. Okay. Um, let's take a look into what they're feeling about this situation. What exactly is this person feeling about the situation about cancer? What is this person feeling here, spirit? What are their feelings towards cancer? Death. Transformation. Let's get a couple more cards out here. I feel like at one point they probably thought this was 
something that they've always wanted or a per you might have been a person that was their wish fulfillment here. Um, but the Nine of Cups is reversed. So this is kind of symbolic of um, this loss of hope in this connection. Um, also, with the death card before that, again, that fear of con fear of commitment in this situation, okay? I do get the sense that somebody may be choosing to walk away, right? Somebody may choose to um, move forward from this connection. And I f I'm getting the sense that it's your person. What are their intentions here, Spirit? What are their intentions here with Cancer? Let's see, what is this person's intentions with this situation? Seven of Cups. Let's get a couple more cards out here. This card is symbolic of confusion or many options. Um, it could also be emotionally distant. Two sevens. I feel like this person is very guarded. Or this could be you, Cancer, but I'm getting the sense that this person has their... I get this from their side. I feel like they have their guard up. I feel like um, they're on the defense. Um, I get the sense that they feel at loss in this connection or feel like you guys have lost the spark. Are losing the spark what are they getting out of this what is what are they gaining from this connection here what is cancer's person gaining passion mm -hmm. I feel like they feel like this is has become very burdening but I feel like this is just a very passionate connection there's a lot of intimacy involved a lot of fire energy that's a lot of passion a lot of intimacy okay i feel like also with the knight of staffs this is a person who is a kind of a conqueror so it's a person who is also a conqueror of bodies of bedrooms okay i feel like at one point this was probably a very light-hearted connection but it's become burdening because they're there's a fear of commitment here. Whether this is on your side or their side, there's definitely he here present um, a fear of they are uncertain, you know? I don't feel like this is something that they want to pursue long term. So let's get the advice here for you, Cancer. Let's get... Actually, let's do some clarification first, and then we'll do the advice. Let's get the clarification deck out on all of this. Let's clarify. Spirit. The High Priestess, the Empress, and the Five of Swords. It's going to be the first clarification here for you, Cancer. High Priestess, Empress, and the Five of Swords. Clarified by the Five of Swords. So there's a lot of conflict, a lot of um, envy, a lot of jealousy, tit for tat. In this Five of Swords, it looks like somebody's trying to come sneakily up behind. Looks like she's holding that sword behind her back to me. So I get the sense here their perception of the situation is it's become conflicted okay it's become a burden i feel like this person may be focused on their work now or focusing elsewhere focusing their energy somewhere else okay let's clarify the seven of cups seven of staffs knight of wands spirit
seeking more information. I also feel like they could be literally spying on you, but I feel like they're just kind of watching you from afar. They're not taking any action towards this. I get the sense that this person is very guarded. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're moving forward. I feel like this, either you or them have become cold to this um, connection here. So let's get the advice. Let's get the advice moving forward, Cancer, for you for the month of April. Okay. I feel like there is a need here to be practical. I do get the sense that you will be moving forward from this situation here. Okay. Um, I feel like you're releasing any, any negative energy. You're releasing anybody who's misled you or um, manipulated the situation to get what they wanted. I feel like you're choosing to move towards something that's more stable, something that's more solid. There is a need here to be practical though, okay? Be practical um, in your approach. Be practical in how you move in this situation. Um, do what is best for you. Do what is best for Cancer. So Cancer, let's get a power thought card out here for you guys wrap up the reading um in i am going to do an extended on this guys in the extended i'm going to take a little bit uh a look into the lesson that is needing to be learned in all of this um and we'll take a look at, at the movement forward where this is headed where this is going hopefully get some guidance on how to get there if that's something you guys are interested in, the link will be below in the description box. I also offer a monthly subscription rate of $14 a month over there on Vimeo. And it's actually gives you access to all of the readings for all of the signs for the entire year. So if that's something you're interested in, the link, it's the second link. Cancer. The power thought card that's coming out for you guys for the month of April is my life is a mirror. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. My life is a mirror. So cancer, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for the month of April. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.